Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I've got a great 4th of July craft for you that is bound to make its very own fireworks. We are going to make a firework dealy bopper and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. For this project you'll need a headband, six red, white, and blue pony beads, two white pipe cleaners, a pair of scissors, red, white, and blue yarn, a two inch piece of foam core by six inches long, and hot glue gun. So we're going to take our blue yarn, our white yarn, and our red yarn. And we want to take the ends and line them up. Now I love this yarn. I, was, I got this at Michael's and it has like a little bit of, it's got a little bit of flecked gold in it. Um, which I think is really pretty and or I, I don't even know if it's gold, it's iridescent, but it makes it really pretty. Okay, so line up your yarn and then take your piece of foam core, hold it in your thumb and start wrapping. Now, basically what you're doing here is you are making a pom-pom. You want to wrap this about 35 times. When you're all done, it looks like this. Snip the ends. Now, instead of like a regular pom-pom, we aren't going to be using string. We're going to be actually using our pipe cleaner to seal this off. So what I'm going to do is slide this down to the end, and then I'm going to get my pipe cleaner ready. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and fold it in half. So it makes like a letter U. I'm going to slide this whole thing off of here pinch it right in the center, then lay my pipe cleaner on either side so that it's kind of sitting right in the center of that letter U. And then I'm going to take my pipe cleaner edges, trying to keep that yarn down, and then I'm going to seal this by twisting. And I want to twist it and twist it and twist it so that I get it as tight as possible. And once that's done, I'm going to cut all these edges. So all the little loops are going to get cut. So once you have all of the pieces cut, all those little loops cut, then you're going to come back and give it a little haircut. And this is where you're just going to shape your pom-pom into a nice round ball. Now what you want to do is take your pipe cleaner and twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it. One on the other. Just twisting it around and around until you end up with about an inch and a half of pipe cleaner. Fold those two pipe cleaners together so you hold them together and then take a red bead and slide it over both pipe cleaners all the way up to the top. Follow that by a white bead all the way to the top and a blue bead all the way up to the top. Do the same thing again. Now you want to make two of these, unless you only want to have one dealy bopper in the center of your head. Then it would be a uni bopper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my headband, I'm going to lay, figure out where I want my dealy bopper to go. I'm going to lay my pipe cleaner, split the pipe cleaners, and I'm going to lay that right there where I want it. And then I am going to take these two and twist them together. It's a lot of twisting, but I'm just going to twist that once, twice, three times to make sure it's nice and tight there. Then bring it up with the big side and the other side, the small side, bring that up, bring the big side around, and twist, and twist, and then wrap it around one more time. Basically just wrapping that pipe cleaner around to get that nice and tight, see, so that's nice and set there. And now what we're going to do is grab some red thread. You can use blue or whatever color you want, but I'm going to be using red thread. I'm going to take some hot glue here. I'm going to place a little bead of hot glue all around 
underneath, on top, all over. Careful with your fingers here so you don't get burned. But basically what I'm doing is I'm covering up with this red thread. I'm just wrapping it around and around. Just covering up that white pipe cleaner. Once you get that down there, seal it off on the end with a little bit more hot glue. Just put it on top of that string and wrap it one, two, three last times just to make sure it's nice and secure and then just snip that off. There we go. And then you want to repeat that on the opposite side so that you end up with two just like that. And there you have it. You can sport your very own fireworks. Now if you live in San Francisco like I do, you're going to need them because the fog usually rolls in and you can't see the fireworks at night. But it doesn't matter because you're going to have them on your head. For more great ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode on Wednesday and Friday of our great crafts. More stuff? Check us out sophie-world.com.